How are you doing YouTube and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. We're on the Vanilla Realm server once again. How you doing? How you guys been? Um, it's been a while since the last episode, I know, but I've been busy guys and I mean busy. You're going to look at this and you're going to go, Dibs? Yeah, that's why you haven't recorded one in ages. So let's go F5 and you're, immediately you're going to see... Um, what's been going on so let's let's check it out so f5 let's go f1 and here we go so this is the storage room for the iron titan last episode i was showing you the beginning of me building the iron titan well several hours later i have finished it um i had a few problems um but i've managed to get around that now and it is working a treat um those of you that have seen the iron titan video from tango tech um if not um, search it in your YouTube. Trust me, it's a good little farm if you know it, if you built it build it correctly. And um, I think what we should do is quickly go um, outside. I haven't done this tunnel yet. I haven't actually decorated it or whatsoever um, because yeah, I've been concentrating on getting the storage system because this thing produces a hell of a lot of iron, and I mean a lot. So what I might do actually is I might go in spectator mode quickly just to show you. Um, it's a lot easier this way. So if we go up here, this is the Iron Titan all finished. And I was originally going to have the kill chamber where the golems get killed kind of round about here um, and not on the ground. But I tested it out and the golems were still dropping all the way down there from right below ground. So it, it still works all the way down there. I thought that maybe they were just out of range or something like that and hopefully it's still working it doesn't seem to be spawning anything right now I think it doesn't spawn anything when you're in spectator mode I think all the mobs oh no it does it does um, so it's not the fastest but it's still good it's in my opinion it's better than Doc M ones because Doc M see look I mean look there's four or five there right in the space of what five seconds so Sometimes it has its flat times where it hardly spawns any, but then sometimes it, it spawns like crazy. Um, but the Doc M one was like one every three or six minutes or something like that, which is good, but it's it's not fast enough. Um, this one, ev this farm isn't even the biggest one that you can do. See these doors here? These doors, you can actually, um, if you do the same process to build it on top of it, you can do it again. This is a 32 village. Whereas you can make a 64 village if you double up on the on the doors there. Um, but unfortunately I went 32 because for one, um, it's still providing enough iron for now. And for two, um, I, I really don't want to build anymore on this on this farm. I, I've, I've, the, doing the doors was really boring. And um, yeah, I already took everything down and... Yeah, it's just a lot of rebuilding and you know getting everything set back up again. I, I can't, I can't be bothered. So this is fine for now. So and when you see our supply, you'll you'll see, you'll see that it's fine. So let's have a look. Still spawning. That's good. So let's quickly go back to the tunnel. So it's always good to have spectator mode just to show you guys quickly what's been going on. So I don't have to run around. You don't have to watch me run around for half hour. Okay, so let's out. Oh, that was a bit too high. So let's go down into the the kill chamber where the golems go. So yeah, so I've been building like a boss for the last three or four days now, and um, I've been gathering. I've been getting all the stuff ready, and yeah, I'm still nowhere near done. But yeah, it's it's coming on well. If you want me to be honest. So as you can see, we've got the kill chamber here. This is where the golems drop and fall. I've rigged it up. Um, so that we've got this storage which is not yet finished it's like three quarters done um, so it is active it, it, it does work um, but at the moment it doesn't it hasn't been finished along this row so up until the back end here is all done um, I haven't got any building blocks I was, was gonna go around the back and show you but this is once again another tango tech device so let's have a look uh, see if we've got any building blocks so I can go around the back and show you. Um, this is another Tango Tech design. So, yeah, he, he is awesome. I've got to say. He is amazing. So, let's just jump across here. 
And I'm just going to pillar across like this because there's a big ravine below me here. It was quite difficult to um, build. It was also difficult to build. I had to be careful. Uh, I had a couple of accidents actually where the redstone got hit by water. Um, as you can see above there, there should be drips. Um, I had to go to the top of the surface and just spam a load of dirt down so that it wasn't. Le it was less um, uh, less dangerous down here for the redstone. So as you can see, this is all everything like all the all the like wiring and stuff like that. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm not going to go into detail of how, how that works because I don't actually know. And this is like, that's all the wiring, the timing system underneath for the, um, the sorting system. This is, this down here below the kill chamber is solely to keep it active. Um, if this, I, I found out, I thought, I thought that this whole purpose for this one was just to solely put all the poppies into the nether and just get rid of them. As you can see, it's firing poppies into the nether, right? Um... But there is actually a logic way why it's doing that. If I was to take all this away, the villages, 32 villages up there, will start to merge. Which means that the spawn rates would be one every, what, six minutes or something stupid like that. But now we're getting drops every few seconds, about every 10 seconds, 30 max. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's still good rates. So in the time between me and this video, I've pretty much... Let's see what's in the chest. I've probably got a stack... That was probably already in there. Probably got a stack, nearly two stacks. So what I've done is I've kind of improvised a little bit. This this bit here was is just solely part of that far that um, storage. Yeah. So what I've done is um, the items have to go into this chest, and then they go go into the system, into the storage system. So all I've done is run some hoppers into that chest, so it doesn't in such a way that it doesn't actually um, affect the storage system mechanics so that way all I've got to do is just keep it in that chest, well I've locked it at the moment as you can see the the, the lock is on, the light is on That's the lo that basically locks all of the items into this main iron input chest so as you can see arrows are pointing up saying auto sort and if you want to hold them in place in this chest you just keep it down and keep it on um, the only thing I don't like about this design is the clicking. There's a lot of clicking going involved when it's sorting the items, but it kind of goes from top to bottom like that, and it will go down there like that. So it go down there, then it go down there. So as you can see, loads and loads of iron, nearly four chests worth of iron. So as I'm I'm not lazy, I'm just going to literally manually do this. I kind of leave it on auto when I I go offline. Um, but I've noticed that the spawn rates aren't as good when you go off for some reason. It does still rack up the iron, but it doesn't do it as nowhere near as fast as when you're online. So if I'm in the area, like in this in this area, I will turn the clicking off. Um, it doesn't stop immediately. It kind of got like a timer system to get everything around into the system. So it gives it enough time to pump everything through. Um, but um, I, I leave that on to stop the clicking. And then when I want to walk away, all I do is I just click, flip that switch and then walk away. Um, in regards to lag, I don't think it actually lags that much. I think it's 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 okay on the lag front. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But um, so far, so good, I think. But as you can see up here as well, I'm start, I've started to get decoration ideas. I'm probably just going to go with the Tango Tech like little border around here and then I'm probably just gonna um, plonk a like a quartz ceiling here that one is iron blocks but I'm gonna change that and the reason I'm changing it is because I want to put uh, I'll show you I'm gonna get some staircase and I'm probably just gonna do something like this so it's back to front that way we can open this chest and this is where all the poppies are pretty much going to go because this is a reject. This is the un. This is items the sorting system doesn't know what to do with. So, um, in this case, it's only iron, so it's not really drastic. So, but I'm going to use one of these, this exact design, in my in my secret lab. So, 
Um, but it's going to have lots more items in each chest. So each chest is going to have a specific kind of item. Well, we all did a lot today. It's not you guys. Don't worry. You're not boring me. It's just it's quite early. Anyway. So, yeah. That's going to be replaced with quartz. So don't worry about that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally just spam the ceiling. Oh, we're in the wrong block. With quartz. And then that should look eventually, once I finish it. I'm not really too fussed about behind the farm. It's just basically what you can see. So if we look, just look at that bit, that looks pretty good. That look, that will do for now. The one thing I don't like about quartz slabs is they've got a bit of a less smooth looking texture. Do you know what I mean? It looks very weird. I don't know. I'll, I'll still keep it though. Um, so this is a community kind of farm. So... So basically, players can just come along here, take what they need and not be greedy about it. And obviously, they can't go, right, I'm going to take the whole lot here. Because, well, they could, in, jet, in theory, because eventually it will replenish. I mean, they could probably take a whole chest worth if they really, really want, wanted to. Um, but only when the whole farm is finished, I guess. So once this is row's finished, this row starts stocking up, then this row, then this row. And then when I finish the mechanics of this one... As you can see, there's no wiring behind this. I've just literally started it. Um, once that's wired up, it will be amazing. So um, let me get a calculator out, actually. Let's see how many chests we've got. Right, so we've got 12, uh, 24, 36, 48, 50, no, 60. And what's that? Another 72 chests. 72 chests, each chest contains 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54 stacks. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, let's get my calculator out. Let's see how many this storeroom can hold. If it's iron ingots, that's without turning it into blocks, yeah? So... What was it? Nine times. Uh, what was it? Nine times six is fifty-four. Times that by sixty-four. Each chest contains three thousand four hundred and fifty-six ingots, and then we times that by what was it? Seventy-two chests. So we've got a max in the storage. We've got. Two hundred uh, two hundred and forty-eight thousand eight hundred and thirty-two ingot bars of iron in this stat in this in this storage room. That is madness. That is absolute madness. Nearly a quarter of a million iron ingots will eventually fill this che these chests up. Quarter of a million. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, I've I've also timed this off camera. How much this farm produces in one single hour? I timed it for an hour. I had an empty chest, and it was um, about twelve hundred an hour um, iron ingots. So one thousand two hundred odd ingots per hour will go in here. So as long as I'm online, I could probably just leave this chest as it is, let it stash in this chest before sorting it, and um, that's about three hours worth of three hours worth of ingots before it gets full up but then it just backlogged into this so there's quite some time before this gets clogged up so yeah this is it's pretty good isn't it I, I, I like it how much quartz have I got not much I want to get some more andesite as well I need to go and grab some I've got very little andesite here um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make this room I'm gonna. I, what I plan to do here as well is I plan to kind of um, make it a railway system so you quickly can get down here quicker because I don't like running up there every five minutes. Um, but yeah, that's because I'm lazy. But when you come down here, it, it, you don't want to walk for miles. And then I've got to think about how I'm going to link it up to getting it to the main village. Um, I'm thinking of getting maybe a monorail sort of system going on. Something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but we've got to make it look neat and tidy and not, not look really like crazy stupid. And yeah, yeah it's got to be good. So I'm thinking...
because obviously we're going to have uh, let's let's just get these blocks of quartz here we're going to have the wall there right so that's that's where the farm this is going to be like the main walkway and that kind of matches the width of here which is a five wide and then two kind of border so it's a nine by nine the same that goes for there um I'm not sure what I'm going to do this side. This side looks a bit weird, right? Okay, because this side looks cool. It's almost begging. This room's almost begging for something that side. Now, we've got two choices, right? If I really want to, I could make another one of these. If I really wanted to, okay? Or, I could... Pr I'm, I'm thinking more of... Rather than making another one of these, I'm making that area kind of an enchanting room maybe so people could come here get their items uh, get their items out of their thing this is bone mill this is how i've been getting all the wood so i've just been plonking the tree there because it's big enough to grow um and that's how i'm getting my wood uh grab some of this from the lab um because of the spawner up there and basically been boning mi bone milling everything and making sure that it um i can get enough wood without keep doing the death run up there because that's a long run all the time. This still needs to be decorated. I'm probably going to replace these bits of glass with, with uh, quartz blocks. So I'm thinking about having an enchanting room back there. So people can grab iron tools and just enchant them. Or something along those lines. Or Also I want to make the tunnel look very kind of forge. Maybe an iron forge sort of light like idea maybe. I don't know. Or probably just... I'm probably personally, you know, I've got all these ideas, but it's whether I can make them look good. And if not, I'm going to have um, an iron kind of themed tunnel, maybe. I don't know. It's still very much in the works. I've been very um, focused on more functionality than than the way it looks, you know, aesthetics and stuff like that. Because I don't really want to go too mad with the way it looks before I've finished building it you know functioning properly so uh, um yeah so i'm not going to go for the um 64 village never say never i might get the urge to build it but um, at the moment i've had enough building the iron titan um placing those doors was extremely tedious but i want to say a big thank you to the people on the server um i was getting a few people on the server to um gather the doors for me to make sure that we've um got enough ready to go um and we had more than enough so it was all good. So thanks to them, it, it it was easy. I didn't start building until I had, you know, the main kind of materials left. So you got some iron here, three stacks of iron. That would take you ages to go and mine out in the out in the wild. As you can see, we've got two stacks here. It's not really amazingly fast. I wouldn't say it's fast, but the reason I'm not also going to build the 64 one, and I'm not really up for building it, is because I looked on the um, the the world download of the Iron Titan, and the spawn rates weren't drastically different. So yeah, they are a little bit faster, but to be honest, I'm not really going to notice it. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and uh, it was more more of a progress report on, on the the storage room. It's mainly the storage room than the Iron Titan. The Iron Titan was in ooh, in progress. Um, uh, last episode um, and I've finished it in between and I've started this this thing um, I don't know how to build this off the top of my head I must admit I was following a tutorial um, I like to I actually find it fun following tutorials regardless to whether or not I know how to do redstone I would like to learn redstone to, to the point where maybe one day I could just not even think about it and say yeah this is where that's going to go and that's where that's going to go that'd be brilliant but that's not going to happen so yeah, um, it's all um, inspiration from people's uh, tutorials and stuff, which I've made happen into this world. It's very practical. I won't build it unless I don't have a use for it. There's millions of tutorials for different kind of things out there, but it's got to suit what I'm building, really, and where I'm going to go. I don't always follow the design, so I could change this design if I wanted to, but for simplicity, just to get it up and running, um, I've, I've followed suit. Um, I could probably decorate... Oh, getting a bit of frame rate. I could probably decorate this bit here and stuff like that, decorate a bit more, but yeah. Like I say, I, I need to get this farm, this storage finished. And I'm definitely, definitely going to have this storage in my lab, without a doubt. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And don't forget, we're on episode 28 now, guys. So if you haven't done so, please 
get your Minecraft name in the uh, comment section and you shall be in my little hall of fame, the vault. And I've got lots of lag going on here. I always get lag now when I'm recording. It, it's weird. I need to sort that out. That's, that's crazy. So yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget, get your in-game name in the uh, comment section. And um, yeah, I can get you on episode 30. I'll go, I'm going to go through the comments and just any relevant comments I shall shout out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.